Happy June, everyone. I'm Turner Vincent, and this month I am in New Mexico. There's something about New Mexico. If you're a painter and you've never been here, you should totally come. Not only do I use a lot of paint when I actually paint, but I'm also on a painting trip. I paint for several days in a row. So I'm not afraid to just squirt out a bunch of paint here. If I don't have enough paint out, I'm limited in what I'm gonna do in the painting. There'll be something that I want to do, and if I don't have the paint on my palette, it's less likely that I'm going to do it. Something I see fairly often in paintings is people afraid to go over something. Don't be afraid to do it. You've already done uh, the under part. You know, if you need to paint it back in, that's fine. But sometimes paintings look too crisp, too simplified. Obviously simple is good, but nature is not simple. <laughs> but often I see like a forest scene where the forest is just nuts. There's branches and there's stuff everywhere. And it's this pristine, it looks like a landscaped scene. In reality, it was, it was crazy. And the scene I'm looking at now, one of the reasons I like it is because it is crazy. It, it, there's stuff everywhere. And that's an important part of, of what I want to capture. Like a child in a dream with your legs tethered to the ground It's the voice, it's the voice of the rain You may have noticed that I like to paint on canvas even when I'm traveling. And I've developed this really nice way, I stole it from a friend, of traveling with wet canvases. And I use a little piece of wood, I staple them face to face, and uh, it works really well. Except, of course, <laughs> whenever they uh, come apart. Two canvases smashed face to face. Let's see what happened. Worst. I don't know, maybe it makes the painting better. All right, I'm gonna see if I can clean these paintings up a little bit. They're still wet. I mean, you guys just saw me do this one. We were down in uh, near Taos, we were in Arroyo Seco, and now we drove south to uh, Mora area. <laughs> it feels like a different state, it's so different. But we're up pretty high, um, staying in this little cabin. All right, let's see if we can clean this guy up. So if you have to work over a painting, if two stick together and you have to fix them, or if you just have to rework something, or if you have to work over another layer, 
just do it with confidence. The worst thing is when you can tell someone got nervous in an area or the whole painting feels like you just, you were too precious. Uh, I heard Catherine Statz say that one time, don't get too precious. And inevitably someone will come up to one of these paintings and say, well, how'd you get the, the variation in the fence or, or something in that tree? I say, well, actually I stuck two paintings together and then I tried to fix it. <laughs> so, you know, just go for it. When in doubt, do a little study. I just did this little guy, and I'm gonna do another one. It ended up raining all day long, so I did several of these little studies. And these four studies are going to be the giveaway for the June newsletter. If you're not signed up officially for the newsletter, you can do so at my website, and each month I pick a winner. This month, I'm going to pick four winners. One, each one of you is going to get one of these. I'm going to cut them out, stick them in an envelope, and mail them to you. So, I forgot my uh, little official drawing baggie, but I have the list of everyone subscribed on my phone. And I'm going to have my wife pick a random number, and we'll do it four times, and they'll be the four winners. All right. Number? Okay. 90. Number 90 is oh, wow. Heather Lewis. Wow. Or Heather Lewis. You get number one. Okay. Number two? Oh, number two is number 44. Number 44 is... Marianne Kuhn, another artist. Marianne, you're getting number two there. Number three. Number three, 501. Okay. Number 501 is Diana Ripley. Diana, you get the uh, sunny sky or blue sky there. And this is 311. 311. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> 311 is 311 is Deborah Palmer. Deborah Palmer. Oh. So you get number four. Oh. All right. If all four of you guys would just send me an uh, email, girls. all four of you girls <laughs> will send me an email at turnervincentfineart at gmail.com. Send me your address and I will mail you one of these little guys. Say so bye bye. Bye bye. Good job. Today we go home. New Mexico has been amazing. I've done a lot of painting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve paintings. For the June auction, I'm going to auction off this guy right here. Uh, I got to paint it right here. What I'm looking at is this scene. So, uh, 100 bucks, three day eBay auction. If only one person bids, this could be yours for a hundred bucks. I hope you all have a wonderful June. Go do some painting. I've now got to pack up, get all of this stuff into the car. See you guys next month. I'd say this is a pretty good way to travel with wet canvases, especially since I have a box on top of my car I can put them in. But if someone has a better way of traveling with wet canvases, please let me know.